so we gem japan uh, really appreciate all the support from ga4gh uh, leading us towards the international standards and responsible sharing of genome and clinical data in the promotion of global health under the goal of international data sharing many japanese researchers can get together exchange their ideas and research results that is what we learned so far as a result we could bring a new research harmonization that had hardly realized before because researchers had were too much competitive or hesitated to connect that's why we do appreciate ga4gh right now next slide please the first five-year term of AMET has ended in this March, and we have started a new five-year term under the new director, Dr. Mishima. Dr. Mishima had been the president of Tokyo Institute of Technology and had made great achievement in the educational reform and the world top ranking of the university. So since his major is in engineering, Gem Japan has welcomed a new leadership from the program director of AMET, Dr. Masato Kasuga, who is a chief supervisor of genomic medicine project in Japan. Now, Dr. Masato Kasuga is a new champion of Gem Japan. Also, Dr. Shuji Tatsumi joined us as the head of secretary art. Under this new leadership, GEM Japan accelerates the real world implementation of GA4GH philosophy, technology, and standards in Japan and for Japanese population. Our main activities stand on variant aggregation and make the frequency data shared, collection and sharing of pathogenic variants in Japanese population, and biobank network and cross search system. Next slide, please. Attending GA4GH meetings to adapt and contribute standards and tools at what we have been engaged in so far. In person meetings held at workshops in Japan, we could very much have fruitful communication and outcomes. The last one was in this February, and after that, COVID-19 pandemic have prevented us holding such a workshop. We are keen to the next opportunity in this fiscal year again in Sendai. Next slide, please. Gradually, GM Japan has been actively involved in work streams. One of the prominent achievements is presented at the poster session of this plenary by Chisato and Soichi, studied about localization, the data use ontology, and machine readable consent in the local research community. So visit the poster. Also, Charles contributes much in genomics knowledge standards, and his achievement will appear in my talk later. Next slide, please. Recently, July of 2012, GEM Japan had delighted to announce our release of open access variant frequency panel of 7,609 Japanese whole genome sequences. This was also published from GA4GA's news release that we very much appreciate. We are very encouraged by GA4GH in achieving this project to share Japanese arid frequency data, including real variants of 0.01% frequency as a global reference to the Asian ethnic specificity. What we hope in this open release to Japanese variation panel is an ethnical contribution to the diversity of genomics data on the globe. Next slide, please. These 8,000 Japanese whole genome sequence data were gathered mainly from two big national cohorts, 3,000 from Biobank Japan and 5,000 from Tohoku Medical Megabank cohort. Our joint calling protocols fully comply with GATK of Broad Institute. 
This resulted variation frequency is available from Togo VAR, a database developed in National Bioscience Database Center. In addition, the genotype frequency and linkage disequilibrium information will be available soon. Next slide, please. So we found we found many single nucleotide, nucleotide variation and indel in this gem Japan for the gem aggregation panel. We detected more than 76 million autosomal single nucleotide variations and more than 10 million autosomal insertion and the deletion sequences in this data set. Nearly half of them were new variants, probably Asian specific. We also detected numbers of new variations on the X chromosome. This is the first largest ever open released variant frequency panel of Japanese population. Next slide, please. In this project, Tohoku Medical Megabank and Biobank Japan jointly analyzed whole genome sequence data this will, this will be a very promising first step in cohort linkage in Japan. And our results and data sharing will definitely promote personalized medicine, not only in Japan, but also in Asia, as well as Europe and Africa. In particular, this variant frequency data is quite helpful in genome-based diagnosis of real and monogenic diseases on the globe. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. So this variant frequency data is available from Togova database. You can search with keywords of disease, genes, SNP ID, and chromosome position. You can also compare added frequency data in Japanese population with those in European population provided by exact database. For example, this variant in yellow highlights is ultra rare in European population and its pathogenicity has not yet provided, but not so rare in Japanese population. Such an evidence will be so helpful in re-evaluation of clinical significance of known variants in data sets. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Thank you. So many researchers have contributed to this project. Professor Takagi led this project. Lihito worked for Togoba. Kengo and Shu conducted joint calling. Kengo Atsushi, Koichi, Yoichiro, Yukihide, and Chikashi made major contribution in joint calling protocol and the quality control. Masanori Osamu Yuichi contributed in data transfer and registration of the sequence data in the public database. Next slide, please. Disease-associated variations have been collected and opened from the database MGEN, Medical Genomics Japan Variation Database. Under the alliance of universities, institutes, and hospitals of all over Japan, more than 200,000 variants have been collected so far from more than 10,000 Japanese patients. Next slide, please. This research project will be finished in the end of this fiscal year and hand it over to a project under the Ministry of Health. This is a kind of translation from the research develop development phase in AMED to the clinical implementation phase in the Ministry of Health. From the next fiscal year, variation data will be collected from gene test result conducted under the national health system in Japan. Collaboration with academic society and the national whole genome sequencing project will also be major foundation for the variation collection. We also focus in statistical data on polygenic risk score and also gene-based analysis data on polygenic effect. Next slide, please. And lastly, in genomics knowledge standard GKS work stream, GEM Japan works for HLA naming model. 
HLA is one of the most important variant regions in human genome and estimated to be associated with more than 200 diseases. We are trying to establish a novel HLA naming model, which has been very complicated and had to be simply described so far. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yes, thank you. This new model could solve the complexity Sorry, back one, please. Thank you. And would be very helpful to compare HLA data from different experimental settings, such as next, gen next genome sequencing, NGS technology, microarray, and imputation. Charles is the contributor of this work. So I'd like to hand it over to Soichi, please. Thank you so yes. much. Oh, what an amazing amount of work. And uh, I, I think the, the contributions um, to this is a, a learning uh, res resource and also the uh, richness of the information around the genomic diversity in the Japanese population um, is such a major contribution already. So uh, now I'm going to hand over to Soishi Okashima um, from the Tohoku Medical Meta Megabank Organization. Uh, so she is a professor in the Department of Informatics and uh, he leads the development of the integrated database, which consists of genomics data, health data, clinical data and phenotypic data collected in a prospective cohort study. Uh, and we're really looking forward to hearing about your progress in this area. Over to you. Yes, thank you for your kind introduction. So my name is Soichi Ogishima. Uh, it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, our Gem Japan work activities here. So, <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. So, next slide, please. Okay, I can control my. Okay, thank you. So, since the Gem Japan project was designated as a GFOG driver project in 2019, we hold a Gem Japan workshop Sendai every year. Uh, which is an invitation workshop to de develop a framework for responsive sharing of genomic and clinical data in Japan. So GFOGH developers kindly come to Japan from abroad. Thank you very much. And also major stakeholders, uh, database providers, software developers, uh, biomedical researchers from both academia and industry join our workshop. So participants get a broad understanding of the international and the domestic situations and hot trends shares experiences, uncover the problems that lie before us, uh, discover solutions, and implement these solutions by developing tools and databases. Participants stay in the same traditional hot spring hotel and what the workshop venue is open 24 hours. So participants can work on group work, science on hackathon, anytime all through the day from the morning to midnight. The workshop lasts three or four days and it provides an uh, opportunity to connect researchers to each other because of the very close uh, and intense communications. The next slide, please. Okay, thank you. On the first day of our workshop, we usually hold a symposium at the Tohoku Medical Megabank Organization, Tohoku University, to introduce the international and domestic situations and the technologies developed in the GFOG's technical, technical work streams. So thank you for joining our workshop and giving us a variable presentation. Next slide, please. Thank you. <clears throat> After the symposium, we moved to the Hot Spring Hotel and start the workshop. During the workshop, participants are split into work streams and engaged in lively discussions. The activity of each work stream was shared on the Google Drive with the participants providing the variable opinions from their respective, respective fields of expertise. Next slide, please. Okay, thank you. The workshop was more like a hackathon with participants engaging in the discussion hands-on and the development well into the night, which also helped to strengthen professional uh, networks. On the final day, each box stream presented the achievements towards our responsive framework. And during the workshop, the participants were able to experience the uh, value of the discussion, being transparent and engaging with other developers and researchers working in the field different from the, their own. Next slide, please. 
So in the German Japan workshop, we have worked on the responsive framework for sharing genomic and clinical data in research settings. For smooth state access to genomic and clinical data, as you know, the both research authentication and research purpose matching with data use restriction use data use ontology are important. After a researcher is granted access to data, genomic and clinical data should be captured and exchanged <coughs> in the, the standardized format like human phenotype ontology. So because healthcare is varied from country to country and it's local to each country, localization of human phenotype ontology into Japanese is very, it's very important. And this framework is being implemented in our biobank network in Japan. Next slide, please. Thank you. The first missing piece of our uh, framework is research authentication. We are trying to develop a research authentication system. This is an outline of our system. A researcher is required to register to the IDP with his or her research ID. And the IDP providers, you, IDP, IDP provides the user authentication. The IDP makes inquiry, inquiries about his or her affiliation institution to the researcher information database. And the researcher information database provides the researcher information uh, including the affiliation institution and the instit institutional email address. Imp importantly, the uh, researcher information database is expected to be routinely certificated by the affiliation institutions. And all, after all the process is completed, a researcher is authenticated. Next slide, please. Thank you. And the second missing piece is the research purpose matching with data use restoration use the DUO. As you know, DUO has been developed to automatically ma match the data, data access restriction and request and was approved as the G4G technical standards. To implement the DUO in Japan, we localize DUO in Japanese and for helping in intuitive understanding of DUO codes, Akio Nagano developed DUO pictograms. So we also localize machine readable consent guideline in Japanese. These activities are read by the Achisato Yamasaki. The next slide, please. Thank you. In Japan, most research, most research is obtained the informed consent for scientific research, regardless of whether it is for profit use or not. So to implement DUO in Japan, we need a new DUO code for scientific research use. So on the other hand, data use is regulated by the Act on the Protection of Personal Information and academic research is excluded, excluded from application to ensure the academic freedom guaranteed by the Japanese constitution. So in Japan, there is much debate about the definition of academic research, whether including for profit use or not. So we need to expand the real cause along with the domestic legal development and international legal harmonization. Next slide, please. Yes, thank you. And the third missing piece is a clinical and phenotypic data capture and exchange in standardized format. So for promotion use of the HPO as a standard te terminology, uh, in addition to the ICD, so we localize the HPO in Japanese. Also so for promotion of use of phenopackets as standard exchange format, we translate the phenopacket schema documentation in Japan, in Japan into Japanese. Next slide, please. Okay. Thank you. And how about real world implementation of our framework in Japan? So at first I'd like to introduce implementation in, in Academia Biobank Network in Japan. For promotion of research and development of genomic medicine, we have developed the Biobank Network connecting the major biobanks in Japan. Our biobank stores over 800,000 specimens and 200,000 genomic data by 400,000 donors. So we have provided a biobank cross-search system. It's a kind of the, uh, data finder or something, uh, which enables users find users to find biospecimen data across 12 biobanks in our biobank network. We are planning to provide one-stop service for smooth access to biospecimen data. Next slide, please. So in our biobank network, we standardize the minimum common data elements like this. And in response to great demand from industry, we decided to add the consent of information to our minimum data, the, the minimum common data elements. So since ga 4 gs has standardized DUO, so we decided to use DUO as a standard. Now among 23 types of DUO codes, at first we decided to use two DUO codes. One is IRB and the other, another is the uh, NPU. So these are the very, how to say, oh, anyway, so next slide, please. Thank you. 
And after research authentication, user can search by specimen data, by disease name, course, and can get to search results. And in the next version, it will, it will be released in next, next month. So user can search by concept information coded in dual code. So if user finds suitable data, they can access to the uh, data in each biobank. Next slide, please. And thank you. And in the participant data view, so user can browse life course collection of data with the disease history provided by a donor. So users can look up the consent information by duo, and the user can also download the phenotypic data in the phenotype packets. It's also the implementation in Japan. Next slide, please. Thank you. How about the other real world implementation in Japan? So the, the rare disease data registry of Japan called RADA-J project, uh, led by the professor Fumihiko Matsuda in Kyoto University, is one of the projects funded by AMA. So RADA-J aims at providing a support system through the construction of a national patient registry covering a wide variety of rare diseases. So RADA-J provides a standard data entry system for patient registry, and HPO Japanese implemented in the electronic data capture system in the RADA-J. Next slide, please. So by the way, so the implementation in industry is of course important for promotion, uh, promoting real world implementation. So G4G standards are uh, the de facto and the forum standards, I think. On the other hand, ISO standards are also the, uh, it, it's, it's a different standards, enforceable international standards. Each country is required by the WTO to comply with ISO's, ISO's international standards, uh, which makes uh, the ISO international standards mandatory in industry. In, uh, in ISO, ISO TC215 HC1 is a new subcommittee for standardizing the uh, clinical genomics and phenotypes in the healthcare system. And uh, Mr. Buron Kaisra uh, reads this subcommittee. And in Japan, we this established a new national committee, uh, SG1 Japanese Industrial Standards Committee. I'm a chairperson and asked the major stakeholders, academic societies, research institutes, industrial associations, companies, ministries to participate to participate in our committee. And we have worked on the cross SDU activities among G4GH, uh, ISO, and HO7 towards real world implementation, including industry. For example, phenol packets are now in the process of international standardization by Rinzi, and the major stakeholders know what the phenol packets are. So that's, it's a very good chance to have a spread the idea of the G4GH to industry, I think. The next slide, please. Thank you. This is the, the last slide of my presentation. Real world implementation in research settings is ongoing, but how about in clinical settings? So how about the responsible framework in clinical settings? And how can, can we realize the responsible data, data ecosystem? So we have, we have to draw a grand design right now to store and use genomic and clinical data for every single citizen in Japan in, in healthcare system. So according to a grant design, we need to uh, start preparation of new roads for use and protection of genomic and clinical data, considering disappearing the boundaries between research and medicine and it's disappearing, disappearing boundaries between academia and industry. Uh, but the existing roads and the IT system still assumes that boundary exists. So, and at the same time, we of course need new implementation in healthcare systems so we need to have open discussion to realize the responsible data system uh, in the real world, I think. So next slide, slide please. Okay. Yes, so thank you very much for your attention.